does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. I'm telling I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. Underway and get into these auctions. Four, four good ones for you today. Hi, my name's Mark. I'm actually just one of two auctioneers working with you in the Harcourts Four Seasons Stable Day. Here's Linda Warren Davy, looking elegant today for her two auctions. Two each today, Linda. So um, I'm working with Sam and Nathan. Nathan and Becky, of course. Sam's from the Prebleton office, Nathan from the, shoot, from the Palms. And Lisa Tippin has got two auctions on the card, working from our Rangiora office. And I see you're in two of your favourite areas, Lisa, so good luck to you. To the, to the nervous owners, um, we say thanks very much and uh, thanks for the opportunity to represent you in the auction room. Thanks for having the places looking superb and well presented. That's really important as well. Thanks to those who are joining us online. More importantly, you good folk who are here in the room to bid and buy. I hope you've got your strategies ready. Um, and Linda and I are just here to help you count your bids. I'm sure there's people wearing the same, the same colours as I am that'll be available to help you in the bidding. Good to see some of the Harcourts network. Candice Tui, you've done a few auctions in these rooms, haven't you? And good to see it's Chelsea beside you, isn't it? So uh, good luck to them. Harcourts colleagues, colleagues who bid for buyers, we always point them out just so you know what's going on. We better get into the rules of the day. I, wanna, I will introduce Rachel Ashton, actually. This is a very important part of our business. Of course, James and Greg are our principals. They're here overseeing. John Tucker's in, supporting Lisa, as you always do, John. Jeremy Andrews from the Prebleton management team in Lincoln as well. And uh, Jess Golden behind here is, is running the technology for us. So that's everybody. The owners have given us confidential reserve prices. This is important, the rules of auction, our procedure. Your job is to, I'll invite you into the bidding to start that bidding and you're welcome to do that, to dictate terms if you like. Establish the nadir as I've been saying. You could do that or, or Linda or I will. But then your job's to bid to the reserve and or necessarily go past it if you're the highest bid which the auctioneer accepts, then you win the auction. Of course, that's easy. Everybody knows that. Do you know that if we don't reach that reserve in the initial bidding, it's not the end of the auction, though? We're just going to pause the auction. Uh, we'll, we'll take the highest bidder out into the main lounge and we'll offer you the chance to buy today. I'm sure your Harcourt sales consultant has explained to you that if properties don't sell today, you lose an exclusivity of opportunity 
and then you have to face the rest of the market, conditional parties otherwise. So, so make sure you've got, got the best bid on show today. Make sure you're that one having that negotiation out in the room if you're, we're below the reserve, because sometimes the owner can exercise their prerogative under the clause 2.6 to withdraw the property from sale and sell it outside of the room without declaring the reserve. So if you're waiting with the old strategy to have another go, you might be disappointed by that. So have that bit on show at all times. Um, Linda and I, and Linda and I alone, can place bids on behalf of the owners during the auction. It's called vendor bidding. It means you're not bidding. It also means we're well below the reserve. So if you hear us vendor bidding, we'll make it clear, won't we, Linda? Then it just means you've got to carry on bidding. We've got some work to do to get you into the selling zone. Linda and I can nominate the bidding increments. We can refuse bids. We don't like doing that, but if the bid's a little bit cheeky and not in the best interest of the owner, we would do that. If there's a dispute, sometimes comes when bids are called out at the same time, then Linda or I would just resolve that dispute and move on from there. The most important thing, I think, today is that when the hammer falls, great news. It means you've won the auction, if you were the highest bidder at that point. That means we'll give you a round of applause, but we'll also give you a pen to sign the agreement. We'll give you some account details of our trust account, and you pay a deposit, which is 10% of the purchase price that you pay. Thanks for signing the purchaser acknowledgement form before we get underway, and you're good to go. If you are successful, we just give you a copy of the uh, REA Residential Sale and Purchase Agreements Guide for New Zealand, which has important information about settlement and possession. Right, the first of the day, we've dragged him out of his hospital bed as Sam Bohun from the Prevalent Office. A little bit of a nasty knee injury there, my son. An ACL injury. I just heard Cam Roygaard with his patella tendon rupture, but have you got any update for us on, on the extent of that? Hopefully, uh, rice is what you're doing. Rest, ice, yes, there we go. Everyone knows that one. Look after yourself, Sam. You've been looking after our vendors at Fauvont Street, number 50 which is a great, great home here in Rusley. Um, really solid red brick number, and uh, it's had some nice improvements as well. Good dimensions uh, on the freehold title, 607 square metres it is. So thanks very much to the owners. They've, they've really enjoyed their time here, and the property offers you a lot. Good slides here as you take one last look through it. It's a standout home for many reasons. Uh, the size of the parcel 607 is, is a cracker. The legal description's unchanged. Planter box, piano and play fort are just some of the chattels that remain with the, with the home and don't remember the irrigation system which will make your life easy and keep the garden looking fresh and green. You settle on the 17th of May unless you've arranged a different date through Sam um, which would be fine if it was all uh, agreed in writing with our owners. I just think it's good quality real estate this one. Uh, the solid red brick, the freehold title in a good family neighbourhood on a lovely section. Uh, well laid out, good proportions in the home, lovely big lounge. The place has been double glazed, the kitchen's been updated, it's well integrated with your living, so you're always in the conversation, even if you're, or you're off doing the vegetables and things. Outdoor areas, there's more, more than one of those. Lovely deck in the home, it's been a great summer for our sellers. Really good lawn, the, the play fort hasn't been well used in recent times, but I'm sure when your family move in it will be. Double garage, but that's been converted into a gym just at the moment, so you've got that versatility and options there. Great size in the bedrooms, bathrooms had an update also, uh, and, and the school's just around the corner. You'll enjoy this part of Christchurch, easy to get anywhere that you need to. Secondary schools, university just down the road as well, not too far from Rickerton, and uh, all happening in Rusley. Okay, we'll get underway, first of the day at Fauvont, 50. I give it 100 out of 100 actually, rather than 50, but who's going to start us in the bidding, just for the first of the day? Well, we'll take the 50 and add 6 to it. Would you say 650 for me? Would that be a bid you'd take? Big updated family home, double glazed as I say, lovely big lounge, good flow to the home, indoor, outdoor. Vendor bid at 650, I won't hesitate there as you just work out your strategy. I, I'm going to suggest 70 would be the place to go to. 20 on top is it at 650. Fauvont Street, good street, lovely big wide street, lots of families living here, first chance at 650 on the vendor bid, 20 is just the number I'm looking for, twice, third call. Mm, mm. Not seeing a bid, Sam, I'm not going to place any more vendor bids. 
I'm going to hand it back to you. We'll go to the third stage. You can welcome those conditional parties in. 720,000 is my final vendor bid. We know it's not going to sell at that level. Just encouraging buyers above that figure to, um, to now make your interest known with Sam. If you haven't seen the property, you must inspect it. He'll be there on the weekend opening it up. Um, really good to go. Owners are keen to move on. So if your budget's in ahead of 720, which is my passing figure, talk to Sammy B. Great, thanks Mark. So welcome all, I'm Linda Warren Davy, as Mark said, and a big warm welcome to Lisa Tippin. She's our lead marketing agent on two properties today, so 50%. Let's hope we get yeah, well, 100% result is what we wish. So a big warm welcome and a big warm welcome to your clients. I know who your sellers are unable to be with us today, but I know that they are viewing live, so warm welcome to you. Now, Lisa absolutely continues to deliver outstanding results for her clients. Uh, did you want to have a few words just before I make a start? I thought you did. Thank you, Linda. Uh, as I said, uh, Waikuku Beach is where I live. It's a beautiful place. This is really where the good life starts. Uh, you've got over half an acre for the children to run, jump, leap and play and you've got a beach just a few minutes walk down the road. So to those of you who are here today and those online looking and hoping to bid, uh, I wish you all the very best. Great, thanks Lisa. Thanks, so yeah, it truly is a lifestyle property in Waikuku Beach, more formally described as a freehold parcel of land being lot 20, deposited plan 457944, positioned on a 4,550 square metre parcel of land, more or less. Uh, deposit lot number 595217 and that's registered on the certificate of title in the Canterbury Land Registry. A very extensive chattel list. Our, our owners are actually leaving, they're departing New Zealand for a new job opportunity overseas. Vacant possession is being offered on the 17th of April 2024. And as we've just said, located in a very popular community at Waikuku, it offers a really unique opportunity for large extended families, maybe those with independent teenagers, or I was thinking this morning, Lisa, independent parents. Um, because you've got this additional bed and bathroom located at one end of the house, yet it blends absolutely perfectly, offering separate accommodation, maybe an office option all at the same time. Look, it's a welcoming home. It's designed around practicality, versatility, very clean, crisp lines, uh, superb sized property. <clears throat> all well fenced to keep children and pets off the roads. There's a lot on offer here. Um, it's a very appealing lifestyle. You're close to the beach, close to the river, very easy drive to the city and to the airport. Practical, comfortable country lifestyle. Looking for an opening bid, opening offer. We do have some, uh, some conditional interest, but of course today here we are looking for an unconditional offer. Who would like to start me off? All very quiet. This is the time when nobody looks at the auctioneer, looking everywhere else. <laughs> but I'm just going to give you a little bit of time. If you do want to put your hand up and just make me an offer on 32 Northside Drive out at Wokoku Beach. This is going to be the final opportunity. And it looks like all is silent in the room. So I do have instructions just to go straight through and we're going to price that property. We're going, we're transitioning through into that second stage. Very sharply priced because you need to see that list of channels that's included at $1,100,000. So if you've got interest at that level, Lisa Tippin, who you've just met, uh, she's the one to ring. Thanks so much to our viewers, to our clients. And I'll be back in just a jiffy. I'll leave your hammer there. Over to you. Thanks very much, Linda. I'd like to think I'm an independent parent at times. 32 Northside Drive, 1.1. Looks a lot of house for that money. Let's go to our Palms office. Nathan Gilbert works with Becky. And we're heading back to Burwood. Nathan is actually known as the Baron of Burwood. He does a lot of business in this area. He's also the, the, the Sultan of Shirley, uh, owning that area as well. Great to have the owners in situ today. They're moving to country like, so a uh, growing family, good to see. Uh, we've just got a lovely, tidy, modern, well spec I think 2017 build, isn't it, Nathan? Um, really, really easy lifestyle on offer here at Burwood Road, three bed, two bathroom, and good permanent material home down the rear section. It's got heaps going for it. It is a freehold estate as well, just 
adding to that strength of proposition, 486 square metres is the size of the parcel. Microwave stays, uh, glass house and the irrigation system too, for those with the, uh, with the green thumb, the green fingers, you'll be happy about that. 26th of April, hey that's not too bad, that's this month isn't it, that's, that's the settlement date when you can move on in and uh, get busy, get living at Burwood Road. Like I say, it's a sweet prospect. Um, it's got stunner, it's a good looker on the eye, this one too. It's well put together, a nice entrance way in the home, of course, lovely drive down, drive in situation. Uh, uh, impressions are strong through that, that uh, entrance way. Living folds out, good flow to that. Kitchen, family room, and the second lounge, the big, big family lounge as well, both open to the outdoors. So, outdoor living is great, and the connection between indoors as well. A uh, good separation in the accommodation. I like how the master gets its own wing down the one end. Great dressing area with the with this uh, designated wardrobe also. Uh, family accommodation bathroom, of course, on the uh, on the other side of the home. Big double internal access garage is going to suit you. Modern kitchen, easy for your for your lifestyle, like I say. But the neighbourhood you'll you'll be impressed with, and uh, not too far down to QE2 for that recreation and the secondary schools down there. Don't don't forget those. Okay, let's see how we go here at Burwood Road, number 85. Where are we going to start? Interesting question. This man's just jetted in in the nick of time. Well, I was going to suggest 650,000. I don't know how that grabs you, but I would have thought that would be an easy place to start. Would you bid me there? 650? Good on you, sir. Welcome in. 650,000. Protagonist is away. Saying yes, he'll take that at 650. Who goes next? That's the question. Do we have competition for this good man? Go straight to 700. I don't know. You tell me. But at 650, we're underway. First chance at the figure. 670. 670. There's Archer from the Harcourts team as well. 680. I heard that. Chelsea, good team effort over here in 690. Yeah. 700. 720. 7.30. It's the bid to beat. Going there quickly. 7.30. 7.30. First call. Second call at 7.30. Third chance. 7.40, Archer. 7.40. Anyone else welcome to join in? 7.45. 7.45. is the bid. Shortening the stride, as we say, at 7.45. What's the response going to be? Can be tricky on the telephone. Harcourt's four seasons, we are at 7.50. It's the bid to beat now, 7.50. 7.55, with Archer in front. At the back, but in front. Funny, isn't it? 7.55. You're in the rear here at 85 Burwood Road, but you are in front of the game in terms of the quality of home. Very well appointed, lightly lived in. 755, first chance. Second call. Third and final. 760. Banked and thanked, 760. 7.62 would be encouraging, I would have thought. 7.62. Lobs it back over the net. If we get one here, Gilbs, you can have a, have a yarn. If we have a response. 7.62. Shiny penny. And what it offers, ease of living. 7.62, a bit of a standout, really. How's the conversation going, sir? Are you going to match it too? Or you go to 765? We'll put five on, would even better. <coughs> Give it the Boeing bid and call it 767. Just making suggestions here at this point. First chance. Second call. Third call. What's the increment, sir? What's the number? What's the nudge, if you like? It's 762. Right, I'm going to count it down three times. Once, 762. 765. Noted. Put you back. One. 1,000 Archer. Nathan? Selling now. 
at 7.66 with a clingity click. Got permission to sell, sir. Who's going to win? One of you is. It's 7.66. It's Archer's bidders at the moment. 7.66, first call. This is where the keys change hands, eh? 7.66. Second call. We're just, it's just getting good. We're on. We're on the market. You've done the hard yard, sir. This is just the icing on the cake. Third call. 766. I fear that might have been a too rapid, that disconnection. 766, you're all finished? Well, Archer, there we go. Just with the $1,000 bid to 766. 85 Burwood Road going, going, and <laughs> on and sold. Well done. Good bidding, set for the end, well done. And uh, good effort, Archie, well done, Nathan Gilbert. All the best, Simon and Amanda. Okay, folks, we'll go into our fourth, our last property of the day. Again, a warm welcome to Lisa. She has our clients on the telephone, and uh, so we are going to make a, a start all the very best. Well, actually, they're all viewing online, so, yeah, welcome. Canterbury Land Registry shows this property as a freehold title. If I could just have some silence over there, please, that would be appreciated. Being lot 173 deposited a plan 491288, comprising a 600 If I could just have some quiet, please. Thank you. Uh, comprising a 617 square metre parcel of land, more or less, registered on that certificate of title uh, 711571. No changes to that list of chattels. Uh, vacant possession being offered on Monday, the 19th of April 2024. Now, there are just a couple of items to note that the range hood will be replaced at the owner's expense by settlement date and, uh, and the workshop studio that does not meet the council requirements. So, thanks very much. On we go. And look, what an opportunity we offer up here today where you can position yourself into a friendly community location in that popular town of Rangiora. It's a family sized home, it's surrounded by quality educational facilities and a very short drive offers a great choice of retail, commercial and boutique outlets. It's a well thought out home that will absolutely delight you from the moment you step inside. You've got an abundance of extras including those solar panels uh, which of course ensure energy efficiency which is just at the right time as winter beckons. Love that master ensuite, got that. It's quite luxurious and I love that whole sun drenched patio. Lovely place to relax over a quiet morning coffee. Family sized room, superb location, uh, superb sized section for busy families. That drive through garage also offers uh, a lot of opportunity. The perfect alternative to building your own as here you can just move in, relax and enjoy all that this home has to offer. We do have strong and genuine conditional interest. Uh, today our vendors do seek a cash sale. So who's putting their hand up? Who would like this to be their new address? 
As I say, we're out now at Rangiora, 16 Goodwin Street. Do we have any interest in the room here whatsoever? It'd be nice to be successful, our last option of the day. Any interest whatsoever? All quiet. Yeah, Lisa, at this stage, it seems that all is quiet. I'm not going to place a vendor bid. We're not pricing the property today either because we do have genuine conditional interest. So just going to pass it in, pass it back over to Lisa, and if you do uh, have interest in this property, uh, while it's still available, Lisa Tippin is the, is the person to contact. So look, thanks very much, and I think that wraps us up for today, does it, team? Oh, yes, yes, it does. So look, thanks very much for coming, and... Uh, those of you that have been successful, congratulations, and, uh, and a very warm welcome, a warm afternoon, good afternoon to our viewers. Thanks so much.